Hey, happy Easter, everyone. Glad your day. Uh, I hope your day is going good. And may you find all the eggs and be the winner. And I hope you like this new setup I got going on here. Uh, if you notice, Tux in the corner right there, blinking his eyes. And it says, you got root? <laughs> really, really neat little detail right there. Uh, so let me know, uh, passing through in the comments below, what do you think of the new setup? With that being said, I want, I want to understand one thing. I'm talking to, to all you Flatpak haters out there. Of course, there are people like me who love Flatpaks. But those few of you who hate Flatpaks, please let me know in the comments below why do you hate them. I heard murmurs that Flatpaks are big in size and that they are not easy to manage or control, uh, not having the correct permissions in a lot of cases. None of that is true. And in this video, I'll show you why. But before we get uh, to my desktop, don't forget to do the, the usual song and dance of liking the video and subscribing and ringing the bell to get notified. With that out of the way, welcome to my desktop. All right, so I'm going to be linking the, uh, a link to the thread on my forum on how to install the application we're going to be talking about today, which is called Warehouse. I don't know why then it's called Warehouse. The developer came up with this name, but yeah, it's for managing flatbacks. You just copy this command, paste it in terminal, hit enter. And since I have it already installed, it's not going to do anything. But go through the installation. And once it's installed, run it from the app menu as usual. And I have it already launched for you. And OK, let's address option per option. Here, it's going to list all the packages. You Usually, it doesn't have the runtimes enabled. Uh, when you launch it for the first time, all you're going to see are your flat packs. If you want to see the runtimes for tr troubleshooting, what are runtimes? Run Before I get into, uh, into showing you, you need to know what runtimes are. Runtimes are runtime libraries required by some packages to run correctly, like NVIDIA drivers and so on and so forth. So to, to show them, you just go into the filter, enable runtimes, and close. That's it. You will see the run. Now, ignore the copy, because this just copies the name, the ID, and launch command. You can copy the launch command, paste it in terminal for troubleshooting, and see what's going on in case the app is not launching. But you can either open the app or uninstall it from here. No need to run the command in terminal. You have a shortcut for it here. Those are not very important. The important options are over here. Open user data folder. It's going to open your app's data folder uh, for you to start modifying things, customizing in case you want to customize the app. Trash user data. This is very important. Why? Because sometimes, like uh, I've been having, is you might have issues with a certain app. You launch it, it crashes. You modify any setting, it crashes. That's what's happening with Caden Live currently. Currently, because yes, I have it installed as a flatback. Because again, I prefer flatbacks to native packages. Anyway, in case you're having such issues, sometimes, not always, trashing the user data, resetting the application to factory defaults might help. So the option is there. Super neat so far, right? Now, the more important parts are over here. Disable updates. What does disable update mean? You know how uh, on Arch, since I'm an Arch user, on Arch you can uh, set a package to the add the package to the to Pacman's ignore list to ignore any updates, upcoming updates. You can do exactly the same here. Here it's called pinning. You pin the app so it never receives updates until you unpin it. So when I disable updates, I hit disable updates. You enter your password, hit enter. Now it's blocked. You can re-enable updates, enter your password again, and now updates are enabled again, just in case you're having issues. Simple, neat option. They thought about everything with this app. Here is where you manage snapshots. Think about it like with BD BTRFS. You know how in, with BTRFS you can create snapshots in case your system an update messes up with your system, or if you've done something to break your system, you can easily 
uh, restore to a previous snapshot. Same exact thing here. You just create a snapshot before you mess with the app. I recommend you create a snapshot as soon as you have installed the app. Create a snapshot, mess with the app. If it breaks, restore to a previous snapshot. A snapshot. Simple. Super feature here. I should have done that with OBS, but guess what? I forgot. So now I'm, I'm still suffering the, the OBS NVENC encoder issue. But I'm recording this using uh, AV1 right now. If I had created a, a snapshot of a working version and then I suffered the issue, I could have re reverted to a previous snapshot and went back to everything would have been back to normal. The more we learn, I guess. The last option is downgrade. Yeah, if you're having an issue with a certain version of the app, you can downgrade and see if a previous version works. You downgrade, then you pay. Happy and issue free. That's it. See? It's super easy to manage uh, flat packs. Yes, granted, you need uh, to install a separate app, but come on. One separate app is going to mess with your system. It's not going to mess. It's bloat. If you call it bloat, then you have a weird definition of bloat. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean it in a bad way, but come on, guys. One more app. Maybe in the future, uh, the, the flat hub or flat pack developers will include it by default as a dependency. Hopefully, I don't know. But other than that, that's it. I high, if you are a Flatpak user, I highly recommend you install this and FlatSeal. FlatSeal, in case you are on XFCE or Hyperland or any other desktop environment or window manager other than Plasma, because as I'm going to show you, Plasma has its own setting for that. It's called application permission. It's embedded into the Plasma setting. You don't need any uh, third-party application. It's part of KDE Plasma. No other desktop environment or window manager has that. So I guess another win for KDE. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, go ahead, check it out. As I said earlier, I'm going to leave a link to, to the thread on how to install Warehouse in the description below. And with that, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoy and you start liking flat packs because I've been the happiest man ever since I discovered, I discovered them. Whenever I can, I, I always opt to use flat packs. I have 67 flat packs currently on my system, and that will only increase with time. I no longer want to go through something called dependency hell, because with native packages slash AUR on, especially Arch, when I, when I say all this, I'm coming from an Arch user's perspective. I don't know on other distros if there's dependency hell or not. I don't know. I, didn't, I don't use any other distros, but especially rolling release distros, I recommend opting for flat packs. If you're using something like Ubuntu or Debian or whatever, use whatever you want. But if you're on a rolling distro where things can, uh, can, can tend to go wrong, I recommend to go the flat pack route. And when you, when you, when you guys say, that flat packs are heavy and they occupy too much space. We all have a terabyte plus NVMe storage or SSD storage or hard drive storage. Space is no longer a luxury. Space now is so cheap, <laughs> no one cares. Unless you are running it on something with an eMMC memory that, well, yeah, don't install flat packs or use something else. I don't know. I, I, I never, I have a one terabyte, two terabyte, four terabyte, and six terabyte drives in my system. So there's no worry about space. And my boot drive, I'm just going to let you know out of the gate that my boot drive is 250 gigabytes. It's not that one terabyte drive. And I have 67 platbacks and I still have 120 gigabytes free. I've been using, uh, I've had the system installed for 78 days not running out of space. Not yet anyway. So take that however you want. Finally, I'm going to close out this video by saying, don't forget that you can support the project should you want to. It's not obligatory, but if you really want me to continue bringing you these kinds of videos, help me grab a green screen to, so you can stop seeing these cupboards behind me and the shit that's behind my chair, please uh, think of supporting the project. And if you want me to continue contributing to, to Linux, uh, the ways you can contribute 
uh, are as follows either join the channel for a buck 99 a month that way you get access to the videos 24 hours before anyone else and any perks i might add in the future or by donating to any of GoFi fundraiser or by becoming a github sponsor links in the description below of course as always and that's it thank you for reaching the end of the video that means a lot to me and again happy easter god bless everyone and i'll see you in the next one peace out